So hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be playing some more Dying Light. Um, now, I'm just doing a side mission called Gas Mask Man. And I have to recover his treasure bag. I was just filming a video, but it didn't go well, like, at all. Because it was really boring. And yeah. So, what was that? It said, like, clothes. Blueprint. Oh, it's like electric. I think in one of these houses, um, you'll find a guy shun cell or something like that. I do not remember <coughs> what house it was or in, if it was on in one of these houses but I'll have a look bloody hell but um, yeah um this guy's treasure bags like in the the river or the pond or whatever you call it so here we go <laughs> I don't, see, I don't see a gun or anything. Oh, right, coffee. I suppose we could use that. Batteries. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It. I didn't want to make airport security. I wanted to make another Exorcist one because. Exorcist is actually right. Oh, metal parts, metal parts. Bloody hell. It's a trophy. <laughs> That's a waste of one durability, bruh. <laughs> this guy is stupid. The gas mask man. His name was Shakur. Now, if I look on the map, if I put a waypoint right there, <gasps> here it is. Well, I know where it is now, so I'm just going to swim up again. Yeah, this um this guy's pretty crazy. Where's a spastic treasure bag? Like that. 
No. Oh, brilliant. It's another paddle. There you go. Right, well, that was a pain in the ass, but I suppose I don't care. <sighs> so I'm drinking. Um, yeah. So. I don't know if I have to kill him or <laughs> anything like that, but if I was him, I'd look what's in his treasure bag. Electrocution. Drop it. See, they go flying. Drop it. Uh, if you drop cookies on me, they'll literally like die. Alright, I've got your bag. Why couldn't you get it for yourself? You could can't swim. Now, first the bag, then I tell you who is Shukur Buster. All right. Okay, Shakur, tell me what you saw. First. The imposter sneaks out of the village. He's very quiet, like a master spy. Then he puts on a mask. Then he sneaks back to the gate. But now he is very noisy, so the guard will see him. Then he cuts the lock and runs away. Did you recognize him? He looked crazy to me. Nothing like Shakur. But do you know who he was? Of course. He's one of the fishermen, the one who's disguised as Shakur. All right, I'll check it out. By the way, Shakur, what was in the bag? My air. My precious, clean air. No, I can breathe again. Let's see, this guy's crazy. And stupid, AF. <laughs> All right, see then. Yeah, so I'm pretty much gonna like go over there. Um, the bridge is over there. Yeah, so while I was away, uh, I actually went over to that military base, or the little, little base thing over there. Die, you undead freak! That was a bit rude. Stay off me, you piece of shit! You still need to dis You still need to respect the dead. Why don't you take this a token of gratitude from all of us? Where the toxic lichens? Here they are. Now, there's actually an Easter egg you can do with toxic lichens. Um, you click on one and it's like plants versus zombies. The plants will literally kill the zombies. So I thought that was pretty cool. Actually, yeah, it was really cool. Um As soon as the crate is <laughs> the ground, there's a guy in orange waiting for it. Have I got a deal for you? How many people have keys to open the gate? Just a few. Tom, Gersel, or Musa. 
Thanks. You want Antisim? Forget about the drops and talk with Rise. What can I do for Ukraine? You sabotaged the gate, Gersel. You let the infected into the village. Me? He was a crackpot into the mask. The, the guard saw him. Yeah, but someone else saw you. Who? What is he? Show me. Well, there's also the mask I found in your hut. Yeah, well, what was I supposed to do? The village didn't want to pay tribute to Rice, and Rice was getting impatient. That's why he sent you, right? So you allowed an attack on your own people? I had to convince them that I needed Rice's protection. It did the job, didn't it? So what the hell do you care? Now Musa wants to put a bullet in Gas Mask Man. And that's a problem? Yeah, make sure it doesn't happen or you'll be explaining why you allowed Infected into the village. All right, all right. I'll talk to Musa and the guard. I want that knife. But I can't pick it up. You want antisim? All right, gas mask man won't be bothering you anymore. Did you put a bullet in him? No, that wasn't necessary. After what he did? Look, you may not like it, but murdering people is still kind of a big deal. If you decide it isn't, you and me are gonna have some problems. No problems, mister. I just got mad. I never hurt anybody. Thanks for talking to him. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let's go do this. Pack to rise. Right then. Now I think I need to go to the tower and supply them with the five thingies of antigens. Because rise <coughs> is a decad. <coughs> <Drop kick. coughs> Brecken, this is Crane. Do you copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antisen did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to, he was... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days' worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that antizen. Yeah, uh, one of the episodes they did say that, um... A guy was turning on the 18th floor. That's what uh, Brickin actually. He was saying how we needed to bring back the answers in as quick as we could. But I'm guessing there's another outbreak, so I'm just gonna go kill them right now. Why can't Jade do it? She's a badass. I mean. Thank you. We really needed these supplies. That's the point of the airdrops. Rives takes everything away. Right then, I'm gonna go check out the first, uh, the 18th floor. Um, I'm ready to kill them. Jade just told me there's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. I've got to get what little antis and I have back to the tower pronto. Yeah, basically you don't know. Do you have the antis in? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. 
We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now we've lost the entire floor, including... including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. Your fault. Hey, Crane. It's good to see you. What happened here, it's... so very sad. It's not a good deal at all, but... I suppose I could sell my own. There you go, right, that's basically what I needed. Um, so yeah, let's go check on Brecken because why not? This is where we get the announcements about the antisyndropes. And they've just stopped. There were kids in there! I froze. I could Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. Wait, so all the free running. Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know what my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Brecken, these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way. A better way. Fine. I'll wait. But not for long. Finally, I get to do some actual good. Oh no, I think I know what's going to happen. Yep. Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? The scout found a volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives, Oh, Jesus. Raheem, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antizin. It would work. We make a good team. Ah! Shit, oh my... Ah! Don't drop me! Don't drop me! Oh, fuck. <laughs> See? Told you we make a good team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. That, that's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch. Sit on my ass and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not helpless. Well, I don't care about you, right? So hopefully this episode will be like an hour long, maybe. I want a longer episode, so I have no idea why, but why not?
This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Ryza's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldermir would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen and then... And then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. You assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Look, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Alright, and so, yeah, I'm guessing that we have to, uh, Crane, this is Jade. Do you copy? Loud and clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so, the short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. This is the one I want. And I think it may be See? where he's storing his antis in. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay. And listen, Jade. If we don't find that Antizen, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Jade knows where we might be able to get more Antizen. I'm supposed to meet her in one of the boxcars near the school. Right, so let's do this. Um, I think the uh, what to call it. Um, the volatile nest is what we need to destroy. Here it is. Um, like that's what Raheem was talking about with the bombs and everything. <laughs> So Come here, you should see this. Something is going on at the school. Tahir's men have been hauling boxes out of that place for hours. We need to get a closer look. What's in the boxes? Good question. If it's Antizen, we need it. Thank 
Jade, where? Shit. How many bandits are inside? I only saw the ones that went in after Tahir, but I'm sure there's more. We should use different entrances. We'll cover more ground, and we'll make less noise moving separately. <laughs> right, I know how you get in. Did you just see them skills, man? Got them. Um, just checking if there's anything else in here because you never know, there might be something. You know. But um, this music is intense. Saw to here at the school. He and his men were hauling all kinds of stuff out of there. The hell are they up to? Anyway, the fucker executed. Okay, Jade, I'm inside. Check the classrooms. That's the most likely place for them to store supplies. They should be marked somehow. Military jargon is pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't be hard to notice. This is an Easter egg. It's um like Half Life 2. That looks like a real human skeleton. 
Yeah, I doubt you need to have a real human skeleton in a, in a school. Oh my days, that music like just makes me jump a bit. Like, it's just so random. I need electronics. Whoa. If you know from my previous episodes that I really wanted a crowbar. Who the fuck are you? The Guys, there's somebody in here. No! No! no. no. Just no. Turn that damn thing off. We're gonna have walkers swarming toward the school. We got somebody in here that don't need to be. Find them and kill them. Bloody hell. Right, uh, that cricket bat's broken. I can use it, but I just don't need it to be honest. Right, hopefully, I get some knives from them. Holy crap, there was an explosion. Oh, crew pick, crew pick, I need that. Crew pick, I need that really badly. Picks are absolutely sick.
Yeah, right, you need to be careful in here because there's two. Well, it's good that I have an electric weapon, but a good weapon. Oh, wow, there's three. There's four. There's four. There's four people. Well, I'm sorry, but I need to make some some things. Up. Sorry, hook blade. Put some hurt on him. Put some hurt on him. Oh, <laughs> look, see, look. That is, look. You see how good this weapon is? Look, you ready? Yeah, you fucked up. <laughs> Didn't realize it was that good. That fucking hurt. No, did it really? No, really? I killed him, so... Yeah, that's fine by me. I know where the key is, it's like over there. <laughs> I'm gonna kick him. There you go. Bar. Right, some keys in there, but right, it looks like I can't take the keys. Jade, no luck with any antizin. Looks like we'll have to talk about that other option. I still have classroom C to search, though. The basement's pretty big. Find the key. I'll meet you down there. Uh, here's storage C, uh, B. But I want to go to storage C. <laughs> nice. Um. Not finding anything. It's all just crappy stuff. Pretty sure there's some stuff we might be able to use in here, but I don't really care.
That was pretty sick. Go! Oh no. Well. Give me a hand here, would you? Yeah, uh, sure. God, Crane, you're such an oaf. Why don't you just stick your head out the door and shout, Here we are, come get us! Hey, sometimes there's nothing wrong with a direct approach. Holy shit. That's plastic explosives, right? All right, listen, you take this stuff and get back to the tower. I'll deal with these assholes. Don't be ridiculous. We'll fight them together. And risk letting them keep this much ordinance? No, just go. I got this. Meet me back at the tower. Promise me you won't let Rahim near that high. What? Yeah, of course. I promise. I promise. Just go. I'm like super sonic kicking, bro. Why am I really good at kicking? Kick! Supersonic. Oh wow, another crew pick. I'm sorry, but I have to use these. Like... See, this is what's good about Ryze's people. They have some sick weapons. Like, I mean, absolutely sick. Oh. Ah. Shit, Jade and I went looking for Antizen and found explosives instead. Now we need to get the hell out of here before Tahir comes... Now, if you don't know who to hear is. Oh no, it's that weird blistered dude again. I know, uh, I don't remember what they're called. They're called Jolters, that's it. They're harmless, they won't do anything to you. <sighs> You said we needed to talk about other options if we didn't find any antizen. And we will, but right now let's deal with these explosives, okay? Okay, listen. I'll give the explosives to Saeed and you talk to Rahim. Make sure he stays away from that hive. Will do. Don't worry. Don't worry? Right. No, I want to kill him. I want to kill that volatile. Oh, 
Right, I killed him. At least. Go away, I've got supersonic kicking. It's basically all I need for now. Do you think that's why they go flying when you drop kick them? Go flying. Fly jam. Oh. I think they should make a dying light too. You need something? I need electronics, which will be handy. Jade called me. She's taking the explosives to Saeed. She wanted me to talk to Rahim about the volatile hive and how she wants him to stay the hell away from it. No, I don't want power cables. I'll take them anyways. Composite baseball bat. That's what I need. That's the knife he had. It's a sh oh wow, it sounds so bad. Short boning knife. No, no, don't mind. Hey, my here. friend. How are things going? Pretty bad, man. Crane, such explosives you guys found. How perfect is that? Jade gave them to him. Saeed used to be on a bomb squad, so he knows about that stuff. Yeah, kid. That was a lucky find. Would have been better to turn up some antis in, though. My buddy Omar is making sure Saeed's putting good timers on those things. We have to be able to get our asses out of there before they blow. Whoa, we? There, there's no we in this. I, I mean, yeah, that nest needs to go, and now it's possible, but... But if it gets done, I'm doing it on my own. But... It's my plan. And I will execute it perfectly, I promise. But... Ah, oh, shit. There's no use arguing with you, is there? Fine. I'll contact you as soon as Saeed's finished with the charges. Raheem, do we have a deal? I guess. Do we have a deal? Yes. We have a deal. Okay, one more thing. I keep seeing this bizarre kind of infected. Is Dr. Zera out at his trailer? I'd like to talk to him about it. Nah, he's down in sickbay visiting Dr. Lena. Thanks, kid. I'll see you soon. Hey, Doc, you got a minute? Oh, it's, uh, Kane. Yes. Uh, how can I help you? A crane. Remember when I told you about that weird infect that I saw? You know, the one who took one look at me and hauled ass away? Yeah, well, I just saw another one, and it did the same thing. Hmm. I believe I have heard your colleagues talk about those creatures. Bolters, they call them. Oh, it's bolters. Apparently, they favor certain areas of town over others, but only appear at night. I don't suppose you could catch one and bring me a sample of its flesh. You see, a thought occurred to me. 
A long shot, I realize. But if these creatures favor areas where I left my experimental bait, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please do obtain a sample, but it has to be fresh. So you have to get it back to me quickly. Okay, and where exactly do I find these things? I'm told that quartermaster chap has been keeping track of them. All right, now go go back down the elevator, which I hate going down the elevator because it's boring. Why can't they just make stairs going down? Zara asked me to bring him a sample from that bolter I saw in front of the school. He said they've been spotted in specific areas of the city, so I should focus my search in those places. He also said I needed to get that sample back to him while it was still fresh. So I gotta move. Right. I guess they must have had a thought about the lift or the elevator. As There's the a lot to be it. done around the tower. Hope you find some time. To What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Iran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatim. Oh, no. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. Oh, then I right. won't bother. The, the, Do it. I'll think about it. Uh, right. Tolga and Fatim are really annoying. What can I do for you? Doc Zera says you know where I should look for these, uh, bolters. Super fast infected, covered in big green blisters. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can point you in the right direction. Here, here, and here. Though you ask me, if trouble don't come looking for you, no reason to go looking for trouble. <laughs> Words to live by, thanks. Well then. Might make this episode an hour and a half or two hours long, maybe. I don't know. It's like a. Cray, you there? It's actually a live stream. Hey, what's up, Spike? Just FYI, if you need me, I'll be at the ferry station helping um... Morgan and prep the barge. Not that far away. Is this Crane? Can you hear me on this thing? Yeah, who is this? This is Tolga. And Fatim? We work for Mr. Dahl, and we are ready to put you to task. Get here on the double. Make it quick. Hey, that's rude. Tolga, don't, don't talk to me like that. Shut up, Fatim. Get off the radio. You're going to make him mad, you idiot. Stop talking or I will punch you! Punch me? I'll kill you! Idiosyncratic, great. Hey, <sighs> I'm running a special right now. Oh wow, I have club hammers. People say that not somebody as turned on the antenna towers. That's me. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm awesome. And you may be wondering, how am I just sitting here, blah blah blah, doing nothing? Well, it's eleven o'clock in the morning, so. Much easier to communicate over radio. I'm not going out. Yeah. <laughs> we await 
Okay, Doc. Here comes your chunk of zombie guts. Well, at least I got it. That was really easy and quick. Or really quick and easy. Radio signals are stronger now. To his ease, Ryan sent me. What happened to Assam? What do you think? You guys take a lot of chances out there. Look, I've got everything but the phenonitrate. And you don't have what I need, and that's not gonna cut it with Ryan. What can I do? The courier wrecked his car in the tunnel last night. He's with Assam now, and your phenonitrate is stuck in the trunk of his car. You wanted to go get it. <sighs> What's his... So you really... Ryan doesn't... Still need one more electronics. No, this goes. Oh, this is a house. Yeah, the, I thought there'd be a phone in here. Oh, oh, ah! No. <laughs> I'm supersonic kicking. I don't want to hurt anyone. I'm going to kill all of you. Come on, I need a phone. That's not what I need, but all right then. <coughs> well, I'm a screaming like a little bitch. Uh, all right then. Uh, ah. Yeah. 
Now, thanks for watching this massive video. If you do watch it. And... I'll see you guys in the next um downlight video which will be in like five minutes